Here are a couple examples of comparing two estimators using mean squared error. So mean squared error, or MSE, is a way to quantify how bad an estimator is. So higher values are bad, lower values are good. Um, and zero is the best possible value. So here, theta hat is some estimator of population parameter theta, where again, the hat helps tell us that this is something computed from data. This is an estimator. And we can see first, by definition, a mean squared error. This is the mean. And this is square, and this is the error, right? So we're trying to estimate theta. If our estimator is equal to theta, we have zero error. If our estimator is not, then whatever the difference between the two is, is the error, the E part of MSE. So that formula is directly sort of by definition what the MSE is. And then there's also this nice uh, equivalent formulation that says the MSE is the sum of the variance of theta hat and the squared bias. So again, theta hat from the frequentist perspective is a random variable that has a probability distribution called its sampling distribution. So that distribution has some variance and some bias. And uh, this says if we know the variance and the bias, that's sufficient to compute the mean squared error. So we'll do one example where we use the first formulation and then another example with the second one. So first we will imagine uh, so there's two estimators, theta hat 1 and theta hat 2. So the first estimator has somewhat unusual distribution, but makes it easy to do the math, where it's equally likely to be below 100 below theta as 100 above theta. And those are both one half probability. And our second estimator, uh, maybe even weirder, but again keeps the math simple, is just always equal to the true value theta plus 1. So 100% of the time with probability 1, that's the value of theta hat 2. So in this case, we'll use that first formula and plug that in. So if we look at the mean squared error of theta hat 1, well, we can see uh, each of the two possible values of theta hat 1, I forgot the subscript, uh, have probability 1 half. So in other words, I'll write this out, and then what we're told here about theta hat 1 equivalently means that uh, theta hat 1 minus theta equals negative 100 is the same as the probability theta hat 1 minus theta equals positive 100 is 1 half. And if we then square that, uh, we get 
a very large number, 100 squared, which is 10,000. So if we look at our mean squared error, uh, theta squared, um, and you'll notice, of course, negative 100 squared is equal to 100 squared. So the probability that theta hat 1 minus theta squared equals 100 squared, which is the same as negative 100 squared, is actually equal to 1. So our mean squared error is just 100 squared, which again is 10,000. And then for our theta hat 2, our mean squared error, theta, well, if we see here, theta hat 2 is always theta plus 1. So theta hat 2 minus theta is always 1. 1 squared is, again, 1. So we basically have the mean of 1, 1 squared, which is just 1. So in this case, again, remembering that uh, mean squared error quantifies how bad the estimator is, uh, 10,000 is much worse than 1. So in other words, theta hat 1 is much worse than theta hat 2. Conversely, theta hat 2 is much better than theta hat 1. In the next example, we'll use the variance in bias. So we'll imagine we don't actually know the full sampling distribution, but we are told the bias and variance of each estimator. So in this case, our first estimator, we'll use betas this time because it's just a letter, it doesn't actually matter. Our bias is equal to 1. And variance is 16. And for our second estimator, the bias is 10. and the variance is 9. So if we plug those values into our second equivalent formulation of MSE, we take the variance, and then we add the square of the bias. So for beta hat 1, take the variance, 16 plus the square of the bias, 1 squared, and we get 17. For beta hat 2, we take the variance, which is 9, and add the squared bias, so 10 squared, so we'll get 109. Again, remembering that MSE tells us how bad the estimator is, you can see uh, beta hat 2 is much worse than beta hat 1, or equivalently, beta hat 1 is much better than beta hat 2. So in this case, we can see that even though the variance of beta hat 1 is larger than the variance of beta hat 2, 
this was more than made up for by the difference in bias, uh, especially because we square the bias in the MSE formula. So in this case, um, beta hat 1, according to the mean squared error criterion, is the better estimator.